Mark Edgar Cook, a.k.a. The Night Caller, and later, The Netlands Monster, was an Australian serial killer who terrorized the city of Perth, Western Australia, from September 1958 to August 1963, Cook committed at least 22 violent crimes, eight of which resulted in deaths. Cook's four-year killing spree involved a series of seemingly unrelated hit-and-runs, stabbings, strangulations, and shootings. Victims were shot with different rifles, stabbed with knives and scissors, hit with cars, and beaten with an axe. Several were killed after waking up as Cook was robbing their homes, two were shot while sleeping without their homes being disturbed, and one was shot dead after answering to a ringing doorbell. After stabbing one victim, Cook got lemonade from the refrigerator and sat on the veranda drinking it. One victim was strangled to death with the cord from a bedside lamp, after which Cook raped the corpse, disrobed and dragged it to a neighbor's lawn, then sexually penetrated it with an empty whiskey bottle, which he then left cradled in the victim's arms. Cook's murder victims were Nina Penny Berkman, Gillian McPherson Brewer, John Lindsay Sturkey, George Ormond Wamsley, Rosemary Anderson, Constance Lucy Madrill, and Shirley Martha McLeod. Another victim, Brian Vincent Weir, ultimately died as a result of permanent injury three years after having been shot by Cook. As the crimes were opportunistic and used varying methods, and Cook's victims shared no obvious common traits, it was not understood that all these crimes were being perpetrated by one individual killer. In fact, two of the murders, the deaths of Gillian Brewer and Rosemary Anderson, were attributed to other men, who were wrongfully convicted of those crimes. The police investigation included fingerprinting more than 30,000 males over the age of 12, as well as locating and test firing more than 60,000.22 rifles. After a rifle was found hidden in a Geraldton wax bush on Rookwood Street, Mount Pleasant, in August 1963, ballistic tests proved the gun had been used in the McLeod murder. Police returned to the location and tied a similar rifle, rendered inoperable, to the bush with fishing line and constructed a hide, in which they waited in case someone returned for it. Cook was noted loitering in a car in the area several times, and was apprehended when he tried to collect the weapon just after midnight on September 1st. After initial denials regarding the McLeod murder, Cook cracked after one of the detectives, Max Baker, snapped at him. Cookie, you're gonna hang, you know, there's no doubt about it. You got a wife and kids, think of them, and then think about whether you're gonna be dragged to the gallows like a mongrel dog, or you gonna go there like a man. Cook began confessing to his many crimes, including eight murders and 14 attempted murders. He was convicted on a charge of murdering Sturkey, one of Cook's five Australia Day shooting victims. In his confessions, Cook demonstrated an exceptionally good memory for the details of his crimes irrespective of how long ago he had committed the offenses. For example, he confessed to more than 250 burglaries and was able to detail exactly what he took, including the number and denominations of the coins he had stolen from each location. I have a great respect for the law, although my actions don't show this, Cook said. Cook pleaded not guilty on the grounds of insanity. At the trial, Cook's lawyers claimed that he had schizophrenia, but this claim was dismissed after the director of the state mental health services testified that he was sane. The state would not allow independent psychiatric specialists to examine Cook. Cook was convicted of willful murder after a three-day trial by jury in the Supreme Court of Western Australia before Justice Virtue. He was sentenced to death by hanging and, despite having grounds to appeal, he ordered his lawyers not to apply, claiming that he deserved to pay for what he had done. After 13 months in New Division Cook was hanged at 8 a.m. on October 26, 1964, in Fremantle Prison. Ten minutes before the sentence was carried out, 
Cook swore on the Bible that he had killed Brewer and Anderson, claims which had been previously rejected, because other people had already been convicted of those murders. Cook was the last person to be hanged in the state of Western Australia. He was buried in Fremantle Cemetery, above the remains of child killer Martha Rendell, who was hanged in Fremantle Prison in 1909.